and remove from our lives everything that depends on sand and the world would look very different. We would have no glass, no computer chips, we would have no buildings. We're just not aware of how important sand is to our daily lives. Sand is a massively underestimated resource. You can't build a house or a building without sand. And this sand has to come from somewhere. Unfortunately, we can't use the desert sand of the Sahara or any other desert for construction purposes. You hear people talk about the end of oil, but nobody's talking about the end of sand. Per noi la sabbia è maggiore del loro. The demand for that resource is such that the illegal excavation and commerce in sand is a worldwide problem. Singapore is being accused of expanding its coastline with illegally dredged sand from neighboring states. Of expanding its coastline with illegal... Mining giant accused of illegally taking... Illegal beach sand mining is becoming an international challenge. What we see is this huge trade around the world uh, of sand moving from one area to another and it's often ripped up from beaches. It's big. It is big business. Si on fait l'extraction sauvage, que ce soit dans les rivières, sur les plages ou au large, on va aboutir inexorablement à une disparition des plages. Or, les plages reculent. Et ça, c'est une tendance qui est globale. significant environmental damage and degradation. Some of the islands off the, off the coast of Indonesia have literally vanished. We lost our environment. We lost our livelihood. We lost everything. When you are dredging sand, then uh, whatever living communities are there will, will just uh, be eliminated. in our consciousness as a picture postcard of a beach. The idea that, that it, it might not be there anymore, I don't think is something that people would think about.